Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. I am here with yet another haul video. Because I have a problem. If I didn't mention it before, I am Andy. I'm the host of the page. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Because I have a haul that I'm really excited about. It's not a super big one. Um, I don't think it costs very much. It's like 60 bucks, something like that. So it really wasn't a lot of products. But it was all stuff that was new or exciting or things that I had been really wanting to pick up for a while. And I got a really dope free gift with it. So... Without further ado, we don't jump right on into it. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Juvia's Place Concealer, which I hauled, I think my first haul video, I hauled the foundation that they released, which is an amazing full foundation, or full coverage foundation. Um, it applies super easily. It absorbs really well into the skin. Very quality. I was very excited when I got it because I really responded well to it. And so when I saw that they had concealers, I was like, oh, cool. And then when they uh, dropped them at Ulta, I was like, I'm definitely going to get those because I normally buy all my stuff from Ulta, so I get points. So um, I did pick this up. Uh, they're $14 each, so I bought two of them because, you know, I always buy things like this in pairs. Um, and uh, this is the shade 21. It is very, very light. Um, a little bit lighter, I think, than what my actual skin tone is. I did use it. In fact, I'm currently wearing it on my face right now in um, combination with the Juvia's Place foundation that I picked up last time, which was in a shade 3... 640. Oh, not really close. Some, somewhat close. I don't know where the 3 came from. 640 Malta. Um, and that's a little bit darker. So they worked really well together. The longer it sits on my skin, the happier I am with how it turned out. I think it was a really good color combination for me. I think it does a really great job of doing full coverage. So really great purchase there. And I highly recommend it to anybody looking for a decent concealer that's not going to completely break the bank. Moving along, I'm going to go into this one, which this was released by BH Cosmetics. Uh, probably like a month or two ago, really at the beginning of the summer. Um, it is the summer in St. Tropez. Uh, I love BH Cosmetics. I have most of their palettes. I didn't pick these up right away because I was like buying a whole bunch of other makeup and I was like, I'll get it at some point. But I went ahead and got it. I had a 20% off coupon. I went ahead and picked it up. And I'm really glad I did because this is just an absolutely beautiful palette. I don't know if you guys can properly see those colors, but there's just a very beautiful array of brights and mattes and shimmers. And I love my, my vibrant, gaudy colors. And this is just a palette that really has a lot to work with in terms of using brighter colors. Um, I know I'm buying it in September. I'm already celebrating Halloween, but you know what? I don't really care. I'm going to use this anyway because it has beautiful colors and I can wear bright colors whenever the hell I feel like it. That's how I feel. So I'm excited. have not tested this one out yet, um, but I'm really excited to go ahead and test it. Um, I know they had two other palettes. One was a face palette. One was a another eye palette that was mainly darker shades. This was the only one I really felt inclined to pick up. Um, at the moment, I may pick those up later in life. Who knows where life will take me. I'm sure if they go on sale, I'll definitely buy them. But, um, but I really am happy that I picked this one up. So this is the last thing I actually purchased. And then I'll show you guys the free gifts that I got because, you know, I always wait to buy on Wednesdays when they do their free gifts. This, I'm pretty excited about this one. I was hesitant to buy it at first, but I did decide to buy it and I'm very, very glad that I did. It's actually the eye look that I have on right now was created with this palette. It is the Morphe Times Jeffree Star palette. Um, I've never really purchased anything from Jeffree Star before. I've heard nothing but great stuff about his products. Overall, everybody in the beauty community pretty much agrees that he creates quality products. He has really good pigmentation, really, really good formula for all his products as well. But I have never bought anything directly from his site. He doesn't normally sell things through other sites. So um, when I saw that Morphe and Jeffree Star were doing another collaboration and um, it would be available at Ulta, I was like, well, now's my chance. I'll go ahead and pick this up and see how I like it. I love Morphe. I know people have kind of like mixed feelings about Morphe sometimes. Personally, I'm a huge supporter. I'm very fan. This is probably one of the better palettes that I've gotten from them recently. It is absolutely gorgeous. There are 30 shades in it a huge variety of bright colors, mattes, shimmers, neutral colors, just really everything that you could possibly want in a palette. I said it, um, like I said, I used the palette to create this eye look. I did a video showing you guys. That will come after the Juvia's Place one, I'm sure. Um, so you guys will be able to see that as well. But I just feel like you could go on vacation, bring this palette with you, and have enough colors in your repertoire with just this palette to be able to create everything you would possibly need to for any occasion. So that's a huge um, 
determining factor in the quality and the worthwhileness of a palette for me personally, just because I think if you can go somewhere with one palette and know you can create every look you want, then you're never going to feel like, oh, I should have brought something else or, oh, I don't have everything I need. Um, so I was actually very impressed with it. Um, it was, I believe, $38, $39. So it's not too terribly expensive for a palette. If you know anything about Jeffree Star's collections himself, his palettes typically run for closer to $60. So in that terms, it's actually very affordable. Um, but it's right in line with what Morphe normally puts out, especially when they do collabs with, with um, YouTubers or makeup artists. They normally are running in that like $39, $40 range. So really worthwhile though. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. I uh, would highly recommend it to anybody. So I picked that bad boy up. Now we'll jump into the free section of it because you guys know part of the reason I buy from Ulta as much as I do more so than any other makeup company is because they have a wide variety of products and brands that they carry. I got a super nice free gift this time. It was like a 10 piece. You got to choose your own gift. I thought about putting in two orders because you know sometimes I do that. I restrained myself because I knew 21 Days of Beauty is happening and I was going to be buying a lot. So I went ahead and ex exhibited some real, real nice self-control and I only put in one order. And I got a nice little goodie bag full of stuff that's actually really decent in size and in quality. So I'm going to start off with these two. This is the Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lip Color. That's actually the color I'm wearing on my lips right now. It is not from this sample. I have a couple other larger size samples. Um, this is just about the tiniest sample I've ever seen Bare Minerals give. So that's a little bit, I was like, all right. But um, I'm going to save this for a giveaway since I do already have the shade. Um, and then I also have the Airbrush uh, Essentials Collection little mini brush from It Cosmetics. I have about five of these. So this is also going to a giveaway. Um, so those two came in the free gift and they are going to a giveaway. And the rest of the stuff that I was actually really, really excited about um, in terms of keeping it for myself. Oops. You guys know I always have like a travel section where I'm like, or a travel section, a travel collection of like minis and things for when I go on vacation that I can stick into my travel carrying case. And because of that, I'm always really excited when I get decent sized travel stuff. So this is the Grown Alchemist Gentle Gel Facial Cleanser, and it's a really nice size cleanser. That will definitely get me through a good few vacations or a couple weeks of vacation. So like next year when we go to Disney for three weeks, this would be something that I probably will definitely have in there. That way I know I'm going to have like a decent size cleanser for the whole time we're there. Um, so I was really excited to get that. I also got this giant, and this is a giant sample size. It is a sugar, um, it's a hemp spun sugar and vanilla bean moisturizing herbal body wash. It is limited edition. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's a scent that's limited edition. I don't know, but it's giant. So that's, I mean, I don't even know. I could use this in my actual shower for a while and, and probably not run out of it anytime soon. So that's a really nice sample. Um, I also got this a cure. Seriously Soothing Cleansing Cream. So this is like a nice little, I'm sure I can get a couple uses out of it. It's got like one of those weird, like it looks like it's only one use, but I think you can twist this back on. So that was pretty nice. And then I'm just gonna pull the rest out. And then I got, I've never heard of this cream. It's the Eborian Korean Skin Therapy um, Pink Perfect Cream. And I believe it's just a, um, like a blurring, I think it's like a before your primer primer, if that makes sense. Like it's like a, it gives you a blurring effect. It's supposed to make you glow. So it's just kind of supposed to get in there and like blur out your imperfections. And I believe I would personally still put a primer on top of it. That may not be the correct use, but it never says anywhere on here primer. So I'm not thinking it's primer. I think it's more of like, it's just go in there to like neutralize. So that's kind of cool. I'm excited to try that. Um, I also got a Rose Petal Rose Water Hydrating Face Mist. It reminds me a lot of the Mario Badascu collection. It is from the brand Heritage Store, which I've used a couple of their face cleansers before, and I really like them. So I'll see how this compares to the Mario Badascu one. Uh, once again, a really nice size sample, so I can go ahead and throw that in my kit as well. Um, and then I got a Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. Um... I'm guessing it's like a moisturizer. It kind of reminds me, my mom has a, uh, oh God, I wish I could remember the name of it. 
I can't remember. It's the little face zapper. That's what she calls it, her face zapper. And it goes in there and it's like literally supposed to tighten your skin. It like gives you a facelift. You do it every day. Um, I've looked into getting one. I promise I'll know the name of it before I actually buy one. Um, but she has to use like a gel to kind of get in there and like make it work. Um, I feel like this actually might be a good tool to use with it. Like it would be a good option. She normally uses aloe vera gel, but this kind of has the same like look and effect as that aloe vera gel. So I would, I would be curious to see how that would respond to that type of like technology as well. I don't know. Um, and then finally I have a, an Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and I have the Grande mascara in sample size. You guys have seen me use my Grande mascara. I got it full size in a boxy charm and I actually really, really like it. I like the formula and the brush. So I was excited to get a little mini version of that for when I travel. So I feel like I did a lot of talking for not a lot of products, but going through all the sample sizes took a little bit of time. So sorry guys, thanks for bearing with me. Um, overall really excited with how this haul was, um, with how it went and with how I've responded to the products I've tested so far. The only thing I haven't tested would be the Summer in Saint Tropez, but I know BH Cosmetics and I know the colors and I'm positive I'm going to love it just as much as I loved everything else. So overall really excited about this particular haul and I'm really excited about doing our very first giveaway, which if you guys have seen, I've been begging for you guys to go ahead and subscribe and encourage your friends to subscribe because we're almost 200 subscribers. As soon as we hit it, we'll be able to do that giveaway. And I have uh, a lot of nice things saved. And then I've also like, these two will probably be saved for the thousand subscriber giveaway, um, which will have a lot of stuff in it, big size, little size, all sizes. So um, if you guys like us, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you see when we officially announce the giveaway. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps our page. Um, and overall, we just really want to thank you guys for your continued love and support. It's been really, really great seeing how quickly we're growing as a page. Our views are super high and I really, really from the bottom of my heart can't thank you guys enough, um, for encouraging us in this such a, a positive way. So thank you guys. We love you. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.